Grandma's about to hit the thing with the mirror. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> We're at the bank and my grandma almost hit the I did not thing with the mirror. So yeah, we're gonna go on our way to Hampton now. About four hours. It's gonna be an adventurous car ride. I'll show Grandma Lane Norton's podcast and see what she thinks about it. Have you ever heard of Lane Norton? No. Bio Lane. All right. So I'm gonna show her that. Look where we are now. I have to pee. And where does my grandma take me to stop to pee at? And she's gonna eat in front of me. Wow. So not only does my grandma bring me here to go pee, but she brings me here to eat in front of me. That's right. Otherwise I'll be sick. So how do you feel about eating in front of me? Do you feel bad? Nope. I feel bad. All right, well I'm gonna enjoy my peanut butter and rice cake. She has her double cheeseburger. All right guys, they're about 30 minutes away from the hotel. I just woke up from a nap. my meal chicken and rice so I'm gonna eat this <coughs> relax my polygraph is at 5 so yeah and then my tan is at 8 30 tonight so right after my polygraph I will probably shave and do all that stuff okay so I just got back from my polygraph and let me just tell you I did not like it because although I told the truth it's just that atmosphere like having the things hook up, hooked up to me and being asked questions and having to stare straight ahead. I just did not like it, but it's over with. I passed it. Time to go eat. So when you shave your whole body, you feel like a naked mole wrap. But I'm really soft, like my uh, tan attire, flip flops, pants, and a zip up jacket. Holla. Feel my stomach. Is it soft? Ooh, there's prickles. <laughs> no, there's not. She's just lying. As you can see, I am tan. This is my first coat. My second coat tomorrow at 12.30. It is currently 9.15. I am just had too much energy, which is weird. I was tired all day. Now I feel pumped. Probably can't sleep. Let me show you something cool. I get to sleep in this little sack so that my tan, even though I'm wearing clothes, doesn't rub off. So, I'm going to eat some peanut butter, cuddle in bed, try to go to sleep. I'll see you guys tomorrow on show day. Holla. Thank you, people day. It's show day. Show day. Ta-da. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I said it's not kind of my nose. That's pretty gross. Here you go. Um, so anyways, I got some oats and some eggs. Kevin's here. That's him. Say hi. Hi. And then I got a little bit of coffee. So good. And I'm not feeling too hungry, but anyways, gotta get my second coat at 12.30.
a little chilly. Gavin. Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting sick. It's 11 o'clock, my tan's an hour and a half. So I'm trying to relax, my show is at four. So I'm trying to relax and take it all in. Good morning, guys. So this is my time. I kind of wanted to talk to you guys and really talk to you guys. Sorry, excuse my morning look, but so after my show, or I should say at my show, I didn't record backstage hardly at all. Um, it was my first time on stage, so I really wanted to soak everything in and didn't want to be in front of my camera the whole time. So it's not that I didn't want you guys to experience this with me, but it was kind of more just that I wanted to soak it all up and, you know take my time and not have to feel like I'm rushed, you know, vlogging and doing a million other things. So, hopefully on Instagram, if you guys follow me, you saw that I placed second in Novice Class B and Open. And to me, that is awesome. So, I had a five-week prep, and that's probably the shortest prep. You know, girls typically do, like, at least eight, most time, 12 weeks on prep. I did a five-week prep, and for the first three weeks of that five weeks, I did a, like, dirty prep, so, um, I used If It Fits Your Macros, but the first three weeks, I totally, like, made fast food fit into my, my macros, and even though I still stuck my macros, it wasn't until, like, week three, two and a half, three, that I started eating clean, so really, I prepped for, like, three weeks, so, I'm just super proud that I placed second on my first show. And on top of that, I met so many amazing girls. Uh, my teammate, Gia, she was in figure, but she won first place overall, so congratulations to her. And it just feels really good to know that I have a good coach and I'm on a good team, giving the results that happened. Um, other than that, afterwards, I went out to dinner, and I didn't record a lot of that either because I wanted to spend time with my family, my grandma, and Kevin, so, his grandma, I just, I don't know, I just didn't like having my phone after the show, it's nothing against you guys, my phone was just being blown up, and I appreciate all the support, trust me, I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it was just very overwhelming, so, I just had to turn my phone off for dinner, I did turn back on so you guys could see the aftermath of me after I had, um, French onion soup, mac and cheese with some chicken tenders and some sauce and then I had what was it like a br brownie blondie thing with ice yeah. cream Sunday. so I definitely am in food a coma I was so sick last night I was in the bathroom for like 30 minutes TMI I know but after eating clean even though it was only for like two weeks I ate clean that food just tore me up but on the bright side I only gained like a pound and a half two pounds so from that meal. I haven't done a weigh-in this morning, but it's whatever. And so after we went out to eat, I just came back here and I passed out. So that's why I didn't record much after the show. I will try to insert my stage walk here so you guys can see that. And if you want to see my pictures and the pictures from backstage that my coach has taken, they will be on my Instagram at peachy gains as my instagram and yeah so i want to thank my coach she's an amazing coach so if you guys are in the maryland virginia dc area uh center stage figures and physiques as a team uh yeah and she's competed herself and has won several first place pro cards all of that so i completely trust in her and so for my first show Overall, I gave it a thousand percent because I'm ready to get back on stage tomorrow. I am super stoked I got second place for my first show. It's not first, but second, I feel it's just as good. I'm definitely doing a show on May 6th, talk of a show on April 29th, and definitely a show on May 13th. So, I'll keep you guys updated, but I'm gonna go clean up. Yeah, check out in an hour or so and go get breakfast and I'm going to end the video here.